All righty. So I believe everybody can hear me. Um, I think we tested that already. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, anyone who's, or everyone who's here joining me today. Um, as it was mentioned, this was meant to be uh, one of the portions of the USIR weekends this year, um, which fortunately, with the way that this year turned out, um, none of the competitions that any of us were really planning to be at became what we wanted them to be. Um, but I think it was fantastic that the USIR weekend became a Flick Together event, and this is kind of an extension of that. So thank you for joining me. Um, I am delighted to be sharing this with everybody. Um, it is typed out uh, in step form, and I believe that's gonna be posted as well. Um, so you can look through that, you can read those, challenge yourself to reading them, spent a while writing those out as well. Um, but today we've got 45 minutes to learn two, basically three steps of a full broadsword. And just to kind of lead in, if you've not done a broadsword before, um, it's traditionally done with four dancers and four swords. So I have two swords here, so it's gonna be kind of a shrunken version. And I'm assuming most of you also have two swords, which is perfectly fine. So I'll be showing you kind of the smaller scale version of what the dance would look like with four dancers. I'm also gonna be dancing it from the perspective of dancer A. So I'm gonna be starting here and moving kind of around and then inside an open sword as well, okay? So without further ado, let's get started. Um, I'm hoping everybody is relatively warm because it is a 45 minute class. We're kind of just gonna jump right in. We'll do maybe a little bit of breathing to start, but we're kind of just gonna start right in with the first step, okay? Also, we're gonna be doing um, the class kind of without music because it is a shortened version. It would take a little bit longer to do everything without and then with music. So we're gonna be doing mostly no music today. Um, it'll be your kind of challenge afterward to use the music, find some dancers and dance it all together. So here we go. All right, so, and here's the deal as well, so that you can see my sword, you're probably not gonna be able to see my head a few times, so I'm just gonna be a headless dancer, <laughs> but my legs are the important part anyway. Um, and if there's things that you can't see, I'll make sure to demo that. Okay, so to begin, we're gonna start with our normal sword intro. Now, in your broadsword, four dancers will be bowing in toward the swords, the center of the swords all together. Okay, so it is gonna be uh, a four count bow, and then at the top, placing on the toe. Okay, that being said, from here, we're gonna go into a potty bot to the right, and it is gonna be a three count potty bot. Okay, most things in this dance are gonna be three counts, even open potty bots, which I know is kind of untraditional, but get out of your traditional brain, we're in our choreography brains today, okay? So we're gonna start here with a single potty bot to the right. Okay, notice that I did that three beats. Then we're gonna find two uh, respiratory skips. So if you don't know what that means, we're gonna come, it's kind of a back step with a hop. So arms are gonna be up a third, if you can't see me, my arms are here. Okay, so our left foot's in front, we're gonna skip, skip. Okay, so now our left foot's back in front. Okay, we're gonna repeat going to the left, arms come back to first, body off. Now this right foot is gonna come behind, then the left foot, arms up in third, skip, skip. Okay, so let's go over that again in case anybody missed it. So from our intro, coming down, two, three, four, five, six point seven, eight. Body bar, skip, skip, body bar, skip, skip. Okay? So, if we're ready to move on, I'm gonna go forward. Now, also, just so you're aware, as we're learning these bits and pieces, the steps are repetitive in quarters, as they would be for a normal Highland dance, or a normal national, anything like that. Um, so I'm gonna teach you one quarter, and then that'll be, except for when we get to the quick step, your first two slow steps, I'll teach one quarter, and then I'll say that it repeats around. I think you'll do it four times. So, here we are. So we did our potty bar. Skip, skip, potty bar. If you need to mark it through, go ahead. Your right foot's in front. We are gonna find two highly real movements, okay? Arms are in third. So we're gonna travel to our right, facing to our right. So we're gonna come one and two, three and four. Okay, 
Hopefully I'm still in view. I'll turn this over a little bit. Okay, so we finished. Right foot in front. So we're traveling. Arms are in third. One in, two, three, and four. So it's two seconds and then again to second. So you're traveling here and then you're turning as you start the second one. You should be facing your right side. And then we're going to travel the second again. And now you should be in line with this second sword here. Okay? So dancers are moving around the swords. Okay? So we are here. This is our two Highland Curl movements. We're going to displace the weight, bring onto our left foot, and we are going to do a second behind. And while we do that, we are going to turn. So it's going to be second behind, and then second in front. Okay, just like you would. Hopefully, everybody was able to see that. I'll scoot over again. So, second behind, second in front, just like you would in your basic back stepping step in the swing. On the reel. So, we're here. Everybody can see me. Okay, just arms are in third. Just sitting for a second behind the reel. Two, three, four. Okay, finishing with that right foot up in third aerial position. Okay. That is your first quarter of your first step. So like I said, you'd repeat that four times. So everyone's gonna be moving around the sword and then you'd be finishing at your position that you started at. Just like you would for a normal sword. Okay, but you're dancing it with four people who are all moving around at the same time. Okay? So let's put it all together and we'll do that all the whole first quarter. We can even, uh, we can even mark or execute dance the whole first step as well um before we get on to that next step okay get my sword ready here okay so from the bow let's do the whole first quarter together okay i'm going to do my best to count ready bow two three four five six seven eight potty boss skip skip potty boss skip skip Highland reel, Highland reel, point behind, point in front. Okay, that is your first quarter of your first step. Okay, so then moving forward from there, you would repeat it. So let's see. You are facing this way. Right foot's in front. So from here, you would extend. Potty bar. Skip, skip. Potty bar. Skip, skip, Highland reel, Highland reel, point behind, point in front. Okay? Feel bad that you can't see my face. <laughs> All right, any questions so far? I'm not seeing anything in the chat, so that's good. <laughs> All right, and Mandy was kind enough to uh, post the link to the steps as well, the written out steps. So if you even want to have those up at the same time that I'm teaching them to you, you're more than welcome to pull those up and do like a split screen on your computer if you know how to do that. Um, when I'm in the moment, I don't do the best job with using technical terminology from using what my brain tells me to do. So if you want to see the steps laid out in a very like technical way, uh, feel free to pull those up. All right, guys, how are we feeling about that first step? Do we want to keep going, mark it through all the way back to the start? So we've, we've done now the, the first half. So if you want me to, we can go all the way back to the beginning. Yeah, we can probably do that. Let's do that really quick. Okay. I'm going to tilt this down so you can see my sword. There we go. Okay. So we're here. Again, that right foot is up in front and third aerial. So with arms. Potty bar, skip, potty bar, skip, skip, island reel, island reel, second behind, second in front. Okay, last quarter. Here we go. Potty bar, skip, skip, potty bar. Now, notice that I'm not executing this hops right now either. I'm just marking for you guys, okay? We're gonna go highland reel, highland reel. Behind, in line with your sword, second in front. And that arm, I apologize if I didn't explain that, that arm's in second. 
Okay, so for that second behind should be here. Okay, so that is your first step. Now, as we get into our next few steps, so this next step is your second of the slow steps. Okay, it does get a little bit more challenging choreography wise. So if you cannot keep up, please type in the chat um, so that I can further explain things. I'm gonna try to do my best to um, tell you which foot I'm on and all of that. Um, also, I am in an apartment and I'm on the second, uh, second floor. So I have a neighbor downstairs. It's also very early in the morning here on a Sunday. So I am not gonna be executing um, extended high cuts or leaps because that can be pretty loud on a sprung floor that I have neighbors below me. So I will let you know when extended high cuts and leaps are happening because there are some in this uh, second and then the third step. Okay, hopefully everybody's okay with that. I'm also an old lady and haven't done leaps in a while. <laughs> Shh, that's our secret. Uh, okay, so here we go. Getting into our second step. This is where it gets kind of fun and exciting. Let me make sure that we can see me. Scoot this sword. That should be okay. Okay, so on a smaller scale, this is a little bit harder to teach. So imagine that we have our four swords, which would make this space of the sword even bigger. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna play around with coming into and then back out of the sword, okay? So all of the dancers would be coming in and then going back out at the same time. From the perspective of dancer A, who is me right now, arms are in third, right there, okay? We're gonna be doing a stress bay and then another stress bay, okay? So coming in, starting with your right foot, we're going to give ourselves a little diagonal turn, right? Because your stress base should be using fourth intermediate, okay? We're gonna come into our first square. So right here, two, three, four, facing this way now, then we're gonna come back out of our sword. Now again, you'd have more room to make that happen if you had four swords, okay? We're gonna come out this way with another one, arms are in third, one, two, three, four, okay? So now, no, notice the way that I turned my body with that too. We're coming in, behind front. I'm facing this corner now. And now we're coming this way. One, two, spinning, back, out, not back front. Okay, behind, extend. That should be about second aerial look. Okay, just as you would if you were prepping for um, a leap finish at the end of a stress base set, okay? So behind, out. So there's your two stress base, arms are in third for those. Is anybody, is anybody confused on where you're facing, where you're traveling? Hopefully that made sense the way I explained it. Not seeing, I wanna check the chat. Okay, no confusion, which is good, yay. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna go through that one more time. I'm not gonna use my arms because you can't see them right now. So we're coming this way. Three, four, and then back out here. Big spin facing inside the swords here. Okay. From there, we're going to be doing a crossover, but it's going to be our low, our shake and low cut crossover. Now, you would have the option here of taking the low cut option out of your crossover. So, because we just extended from our shots today, we're going to come down into second. One and a two, and a three, four. Okay, I'll face you guys this way so you can see what I just did, but you would be facing this way at that sword. Okay, we're extended here after our second stress stay. One and a two, and a three, four. Okay, that's how I count it. I know that's probably not the way you should count it, but that's how my brain thinks about it. Okay, and again, if you don't know that version of your crossover yet, don't worry about it. Do what you can for now, and then when you go to do the dance later to post it with your friends, you can uh, make that whatever you want to make it, okay? So, we are back over here. Almost done with the first quarter of this second step, okay? So we just finished that crossover movement. One and a two and a three, four. Okay, then we're gonna pick up this foot. We're gonna do an assemble, change, change, and a big leap. Okay? And again, like I said, I'm not going to be executing any leaps today. 
but I will do that one for you really quick. So we just finished our strap thing. We're over here. For this portion, so for the crossover, your arms would be in second. Okay? So we're right here. Just your normal crossover arm. One and the two and the three. One and the two and the three. Four. Assemble, change, change, and move. Okay? Hopefully everybody got that. You should be finishing with your right foot in front. Okay? So you would finish. Weep, right foot in front. Here. That's the end of your first quarter. Then you would go into your next sword, stress bay, stress bay, and then your crossover. Okay? How's everybody feeling about that? It's a little bit more complicated than the first step. You feeling okay? Let's see. All right, I'm not seeing any questions. Fantastic. Why doesn't everybody grab a drink of water really quick? And we'll come back in a second because we're now getting into our quick time and we're getting into going, switching positions with other dancers. It's going to get really exciting. Okay. So grab a drink, put your thinking caps back on if you lost them already. So before we get into this next step, I'm going to just kind of explain what I meant by what I was just saying. So as I was doing my research for putting this broadsword together, a lot of the broadswords that I had seen traditionally, uh, videos, kind of written steps for broadswords, was that there were two, one or two steps, slow steps, that every uh, dancer did together, kind of just traveling around the swords, maybe going in and then out a little bit, kind of like we did with the stress phase. And then you get into the quick time where the dancers begin to switch positions and take breaks like you would kind of in a more traditional real setting. So in this next step, you're going to see dancers A and C are going to be dancing while dancers B and D are going to be resting. So at the, at the finish of the last quarter of that second step that we just learned, dancers B and D would stay in their spots. Dancers A and C would uh, dance and switch spots. Okay, and then after that, A and C are going to break. So they're going to get a rest and then B and D are going to dance and switch spots. Okay. And then all the dancers are going to be joining back in again. Alrighty. So here we go. Are we ready? <laughs> that was a long winded explanation. <laughs> okay. So Mandy did just say that she found the music. I was going to check for it. So we are going to be having the music ready for you guys after the class, okay? So that you can dance this to the music. All righty. Here we go. Next step. And then right? So dancer A. Now arms are going to be in third for a lot of this. So keep that in mind. Or I meant uh, first position, my bad. So for the beginning of this, our two closed potty bars. Now remember earlier I said that most of everything is going to be three deep potty bars. This is kind of what I meant. So closed potty bars and Open potty bars are traditionally not three beat, but we're going to be doing them three beat today. Okay, so we're coming in now. We are going to be flapping because it is the quick time. So at the end of our leap, at the end of that second step, the fourth quarter, you're going to clap. Okay, dancers A and C are going to come into the sword. They're going to switch positions. Okay, so I'm going to end over here. I'm going to start here and I'm going to end over there. Okay, here we go. So, clap. Now my right foot should be in front because I just did a leap. Flap, body bop, body bop. Okay, easy enough. Just your two close body bops. Again, body bop, body bop. All right. Now two open body bops. Again, they're going to be three beat. Not very traditional, but we're going to do it that way. Okay. Arms are in third. Okay, so both arms are up. Body bop, body bop. 
Okay, so there's your two open polygons. So now my hands are A, I'm facing this way. My arms are going to go to second position. I'm going to take my right foot. It's going to spring into this square like you would for the pointing step in the sword. You're going to point second into third, switch second into third. Okay, arms are in second. So I'm going to do that again. My two open polygons here. We're going to come back. Point together, point together. Okay, almost done. Now from there, dancers A and C have just now switched spots. Okay, so now I am dancer C. I'm still dancer A, but I'm in dancer C's position. Okay, I just did another point together here. I'm going to do four back steps to get out of the sword to stand here and rest. While well, dancers C and D are going to do their thing. Okay, so we came from here. Point together, point together. Now we're going to do four back steps. Two, three, four. And then I'm going to rest. Okay? Foot comes down into first, arms come to first, you're going to rest there. Ready? For those back steps, your arms are also in first. Okay? Like they would be normally, they're going to be up both together. Okay? Let's go through that again. Here we go. From the clap. Pari ba, pari ba. Ready? Open pari ba. Open pari ba. Point together, point together. Back step two, three, four. And then we're going to rest. Okay? Now, the way that that would work, if you had four swords, traditionally, you would have enough room for dancers A and C to come. So dancer C would come on this side. Dancer A would come on this side. So they're essentially going around each other. To switch spots. Okay, so now from the perspective of dancer A, I'm going to be resting right here while dancers B and D, so these two are going to do exactly what I just did. So they're going to repeat that and switch spots. Okay, now after they finish, everyone joins back in. Okay, this is kind of the ending little bit. Okay, it's the last little bit, it's a little I like to call it some choreography craziness because it's a lot to remember. So we're gonna take the next little while to kind of learn all of it and then we'll go through it, okay? Everybody feel okay with that uh, step that we just learned? The switching spots and then B and D are gonna switch spots. I think everybody's doing pretty good with that. Let me click through really quick. Okay, looking good. Perfect. Alrighty. So, then in that case, we're gonna get right into it, okay? So, after dancers B and D are done, I'm still right here, because I just finished resting, okay? So I am right here. Let me my sword back a little bit. You guys can see me better. Okay, there we go. So I'm resting right here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to execute the first couple of beats slash count of what would be a propelled pivot turn, but I'm by myself. Okay? So my weight is going to be on my right foot. My left foot is going to be my trailing foot. So it's going to look like this. I'm going to come up on the balls of the feet on the seven, eight prior, and we're going to come in. One and two. Okay? So that would be what your propelled pivot turn would look like as you jump in to, to swing the foot. So we're here. One and two. Okay, we're going to take our weight onto our left foot. Okay, also for that, you're going to be in first. So let me do that correctly. One and two. Okay, arms are going to stay in first. You're going to shift onto the left foot, it's going to take the weight. The right foot is going to be your working foot. Okay, we're going to face it this way. So all together, one and two. I'm going to shift three. Four. Okay? Toe heel and third. And again. That again. One and two, three, four. Okay? Now we're going to do two more toe heels, but they're going to be in fourth. So, or, uh, sorry, fourth opposite fifth. So they're going to be over the sword. My sword's crooked. There we go. So we just did this toe heel and third. Here we have 
So we're going to spring onto our right foot, toe heel left, and the arm comes to second. Okay, switch, toe heel right. Okay, so I'm going to stop there because it gets a little crazy after that. From the top, right here. Everybody joins back together because E and D just finished their little portion. Okay, so here. One and two, three, four, toe, heel, toe, heel. Okay, notice that we're switching arms, switching feet. Really fun. All right. So, our right foot just finished our toe, heel. From here, if everybody's ready, give me a quick little thumbs up. Okay, I see it. Beautiful. So, from here, we're going to exit the sword like we would in this toe heel step. If we were doing it as a championship sword step, we would finish the toe heel. We would extend, body bop, assemble. Okay, again, we're exiting the sword. One, two, body bop, assemble. I'm sure you know what's coming. We're going to do high steps. Okay, I'm not going to be executing them, I'll do them non-extended so that you can see what they're going to look like because after the first high kick just like we would in the championship sword we are going to be moving over so that we're in line with this sword hilt here okay so again from here arms are in second toe heel arm comes down to first body buff assemble high cut one two three four okay so now if you did the math in your head, we have essentially one more quarter for everyone to dance of the whole dance, okay? So that was a quarter, and now we're in our very last quarter that everyone's gonna continue dancing together, and you're gonna end up back where you started. So that's the fun part, is that you do all of this craziness, you switch spots and everything, but then you still end up back where you started, okay? So let's try that one one more time, and then we'll do that final quarter. Here we go, arms are in first. One and two, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. Body bar, symbol, I said move, two, three, four. Okay, and I said move just to remind you that after that first high cut, you do have to move to your right to get in line with your sword. Okay, now, I do have to move this sword a little forward so that I have room to dance behind it so I don't run into the wall. Everybody ready for this last little quarter? Ready and excited? I am. Let me look through really quick. Give me a thumbs up. Most people have their video off, actually. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm getting thumbs. Sweet. All right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Here we go. Final quarter. This is my favorite one. So. We just finished our last high cut with our right foot in third gear aerial. From there, I'm gonna do it facing you first so you can see kind of what I'm doing. We're gonna do a side travel. Okay, so it's gonna be on the toe, on the heel, all that exciting stuff. But we are gonna extend first. So pretend I'm over here and I'm facing the side, I'm just gonna do it facing you first. We just finished our last high cut. We're gonna extend and then come back to third gear aerial. We're gonna uh, spring with it or hop with it. So up one, two, three, four. Okay, but we're gonna do that here. Now that you can see that, it's gonna be here. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you're just traveling along a straight line there. Okay, no turning or anything yet because you're just about to turn. Okay, now mind you, again, I'm on a smaller scale. I would normally have four swords and a much bigger space to work with. So I wouldn't be running into this other person over here, okay? Just by doing that side travel. So, from there, now your arms are in second for that too. So one arm is gonna be up, one's on the hip. And one, two, three, four, arms come to third. You're gonna do two very small highland reel movements. They're mainly used as a turning mechanism, okay? So, you're gonna come up to third with the arm, highland reel, highland reel. So the second one is basically done on the spot. Okay, with the left foot. So I just finished here. And one, 
two, three, four. Island reel, island reel. So that first one, you get a little bit of movement forward. This one, you're getting the line of your sword. This second one, you're getting the skin spot. Okay, and now your left one should be in front. Hopefully everybody's there with me. From there, we just finished our second island reel. Arms are in third, they're gonna come down to first. We're gonna do an assemble out change, okay? Assemble out change, now your right foot's in front. We're gonna do two more changes. Change, change, okay? From here, we're gonna start with our right foot. We're gonna pick it up. We're gonna do a jig shuffle. Shuffle, switch feet, shuffle, okay? So, let's go through that again. Check the chat, make sure no one's confused. Okay, it looks, looks like we're doing good. So, marking it from here, and one, two, three, four, island reel, island reel. Assemble out together, change, change, shuffle, shuffle. Now we have two counts left. What are we gonna do? Big assemble, big leap. Okay, so from here, shuffle. Shuffle, assemble for this leap. Okay, by the way, your arms are in first for all of that. So, assemble out, change, 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 shuffle, shuffle, assemble on the leap. You're gonna be a big leap, and with your right foot in front, and your arms are gonna come like this. Okay, out and at the sides, up to third. So, that's how you're gonna finish. Okay, trying it again. Two and three and four. Island reel, island reel, assemble out, change, 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 shuffle to assemble and leap. Okay? How are we feeling? Feeling good? Okay, I'm going to give everybody a little opportunity to kind of just run through that last little bit that we learned. I'm going to click through. If your videos are on, I can see them. Mark it, mark it, mark it. Or you can dance it, that's totally fine. <laughs> Beautiful, everybody looks fantastic. Nice. Good, and then remember those arms at the end of that leap too. So you're gonna take them out and around to third. Okay, I'm still clicking through just so I can see you guys. Okay, question, when do you take your arms up at the end? So during the leap is when they're going to come up if that makes sense so you're going to assemble at the beginning of the assemble your arms are still in first so what that's going to look like is assemble out together change change arms are still in first so they come up during that leap okay so they're counteracting what the leap is doing okay so it makes the leap look about 10 times more exciting <laughs> Arms to third, yes. Actually, you are right. It would be fourth because you'd want them to finish very close. Thank you. Thank you for the correction. Yes, they would be to fourth. Of course, yes, you're welcome. Okay, any other questions, guys? We've got about five minutes left. Throw your questions in the chat if you have them. Even if they're from earlier steps too, I can totally answer them. Okay, good, I'm still clicking through. Everybody's looking good. Beautiful. Okay, nicely done guys. So, what we can do now is take every step. We're gonna kind of run through each one. Uh, so we'll do the whole first step. We'll do the whole second step, okay? And then the third step is a little wonky to do um, the whole thing put together since there's little breaks in it, uh, but we'll see what we can do with that, okay? I'm gonna be kind of dancing and marking I'm gonna challenge you guys to dance the whole thing and I'm gonna to try to count it out as I'm going, okay? And the reason I'm marking is so that I can keep counting because we all know that when we start dancing, it's very hard to count at the same time. 
Okay. Um, and then that way we can see kind of how the steps run together as well. So what those transitions kind of look like, because I know I explained them, but it's better to dance them and actually see what they're like. Okay. How does that sound guys? Thumbs up. Okay. I love it. Here we go. Question. What is after the potty buzz going out? Which step? Potty buzz going out. Are we talking the second step or the third step with the potty bar assemble leap high cuts, extended high cuts? Who was that? Holly Carmichael. Just so I know what, what step you're talking about so I can answer it correctly. Okay, all right, we'll give it a second. Um, I can always answer that question at the end too, if you need some more clarification. But let's go through the steps real quick. So again, our first step. Oh, I think we got it. There it is, the third step. Okay, so the potty bar into the high kits. Okay, so just a reminder what that looks like. Remember we finished with a toe heel right. Okay, we're gonna come, potty bar, assemble, high cut, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's our, our little, everybody dances it together. And then we go into our one and two and three and four, Highland Reel, that little end. Okay, hopefully that answers your question. I think hopefully it did. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and do our kind of whole step. So our first one here. Okay, again, apologies that you can't really see my head. Okay, so we are here for count bell. Five, six point seven eight. Okay, body boss, skip. Potty bar, skip, skip, and on reel. One, two, three, four. Keep going. Potty bar, skip, skip, potty bar, skip, skip, island reel, island reel, point behind, point in front. Potty bar, skip, skip, potty bar, skip, skip, island reel, island reel, point behind, point in front. Again, last one. Skip. Five bar, skip, skip, island reel, island reel, point behind, point in front. Okay, now from here, notice that we just finished here into our stress phase. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And a two and a three, four. Simple change, change, and leap. Again, stress phase, stress phase, point and Low cut point, assemble, change, change, and leap. Keep going, stress phase, three, four, stress phase, three, four. One and a two, low cut point, assemble, change, change, and leap. Stress phase, last one, stress phase. Point and a shape, low cut, assemble, change, change, flat. Dancers A and C from there, okay? Body bar, body bar. Open, open. Point together, point together. Back step two, three, four. Now's your rest. Okay. Dancers B and D are doing their thing. Getting ready. On a count of down, go ahead and rise up on the ball of the feet. On seven, eight. Ready, five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three, four. Toe, heel, toe, heel. One and two, three, high cut. One, two, three, four. To the side, island reel. And again, one and two, three, four. Shuffle, shuffle, and leap. Now, everybody's gonna step over. Big bow, facing their own sword. Now, the fun part here. Everybody just bowed together to the middle of the swords, acknowledging each other for doing the broadsword together. So we all just did that. Now, the dancers who are not facing the front already are going to turn 
like you would in a traditional uh, holokin reel, or you end in a square, or you end some people facing away. Okay? Everyone's going to turn and face the front and do another bow. So step again, bow, acknowledging the judges and the audience. Okay? All right, y'all, how do we feel? How was that? Was that run through good at the end? Any questions at all? Don't be shy. Okay, everybody's kind of still dancing. That's good. All right. So we got through that whole thing in 45 minutes, which was awesome. Okay. Now, your challenge from here is to find the music when it's posted, find the steps, take what you learned here today, put it all together, find some friends. You can even do it by yourself. I know it's not traditional, but you can do it by yourself because we're in some unforeseen circumstances this year. And I know not everyone is allowed to gather yet. So if you need to do it by yourself, you can always do that. If you have a friend that's really good at making uh, slicing videos together, you can do your part of it. You can have your friends record and then put all your videos together and make it one big video square that has all four. I'm just getting really creative. <laughs> um, so thank you all for joining me today. I don't know if Alexa or Mandy have anything to say before we sign off um, or if anyone has any other questions for me either. Um, it doesn't even have to be broadsword related if it's just general questions for me. Um, go ahead and send them my way if you need to.